just uh, wanted to ask you about your season. I mean, uh, obviously you were a solid player at Atlanta and Arizona, but this year, you know, you've played at a pro ball, all pro type level. I mean, what's been the difference in you taking this big jump? Um, I think it just has a lot to do with uh, what I'm being asked to do. Uh, my job responsibility is here are different than anything I've been asked to do before. And I think I'm just being put in the right position to thrive and make plays. Were you disappointed when you didn't make the Pro Bowl? No, nah, I understand how this business works. I mean, it is what it is. We have bigger aspirations than individual awards. I mean, when you handle business, all that stuff will come. And one more thing, hate to hog the thing, but the Vikings announced Kirk Cousins will be out uh, due to being on the COVID list. How does that change the approach of the Green Bay defense that you'll be going against Sean Mannion? It doesn't change anything. Um, we're preparing for the Minnesota Vikings, not Kirk Cousins. So I'm pretty sure they're going to run their same offense with him. He's an NFL quarterback, so we have to prepare as such. Wes from Packers.com. Hey, Dre, do you got me okay? Am I coming through? One, two, three. Dre, do you got me? Eric, do you hear me? I got you, Wes. Okay. Um, Dre, do you got us? Yeah. <laughs> Should I try again, Eric? Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, Wes. Great, do you hear me now? Yep. Okay, great. Hey, I wanted to follow up, if I could, on the Pro Bowl thing. I know, obviously, as you said, you got bigger goals, but, you know, there are a lot of guys, including, you know, Matt LaFleur, you know, your teammates that really did kind of talk about how you did deserve it. What, what does that sort of mean to you to be able to, to have that sort of bond that you've built here the last five, six months with this team and to have guys sort of step up like that? Uh, I just definitely appreciate the support more than anything. Like I've always said from the jump, you know, just them believing in me and giving me the opportunity is all I could ever ask for. And that's all I ever needed is an opportunity, you know. So I just appreciate the the support from everybody. You know, everybody's been telling me I'm, I'm well-deserved, but obviously not if I didn't make it. So just got to keep working. Trey, I'm not Ryan. sure how many... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. If you have another, go ahead, Wes. Yeah, really quick. I'm not sure how many times you've seen Cook throughout your career, but but what makes him as dynamic of a running back as he is, and what's the challenge with, with trying to contain someone like him? Um, he's an explosive football player. Um, the, the speed that he plays with, it doesn't really show up on tape. You can't really tell until you play him in person. Like, he's really explosive, and – his ability to just find those creases and, and get through it is something that you can't really emulate. You just kind of have to kind of have to play it and see what it's like. Ryan Wood. Madre, I missed the very beginning, so I apologize if you've already been asked this, but it's obviously a pretty eventful day if you're a defense preparing to play the Minnesota Vikings. How did you find out uh, this morning that, that Kirk Cousins had tested positive for COVID and how do you, go from that moment, go forward in terms of late in the week, creating a, a game plan for Sean Mannion? Did you hear his question, Devondre? No, I can't hear anything. Sorry about that. Ryan, uh, you can try again. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I, I don't know. I'll just repeat what I said. I don't know if you heard anything. Uh, I, I just got in. I, I, I missed the start of this, so I apologize if you've been asked already. But it's obviously a very eventful day for defense preparing to play the Minnesota Vikings. I'm curious how you found out that Kirk Cousins tested positive for COVID and won't be able to play. Sunday night. And from that moment, how, how do you go forward in terms of late in the week, creating maybe a new game plan, adjusting the game plan for a different quarterback in Sean Mannion? Um, uh, earlier, I did say, but 
I don't think we're going to change anything because we're not preparing for Kirk Cousins. We're preparing for the Minnesota Vikings. So I'm pretty sure they're going to run their same offense, regardless of who's at quarterback. They're a run first team. So as long as Dalvin and uh, Alexander are healthy, I'm pretty sure they're going to run their same offense. So we just have to continue to prepare as we've been preparing and go out there and do our jobs. If, if I could follow up real quick, that, that's a pretty significant change, though, to the, the quarterback position, having a new player in, in that position, right? So is, is, is there tweaks that you make? Or, I mean, it's just – I get that you're preparing for the offense, but but it's, you know, the engine of that offense is, is the quarterback, right? Yeah, but Sean Mayen is an NFL quarterback. You can't decipher players based off of, you know, who they are. Like I said, the Vikings are a run first offense and everything they do is predicated off the run. So it doesn't matter who's at quarterback. It's a system. So if they're running the ball well, then the quarterback will play well. So we just have to to continue to prepare as we have. And if anything changes, I mean, then we'll just on the fly. But I don't think much will change. MK Burgess. Devondra, do you got me? You got me? No, maybe. Can you hear me, Devondre? I can't hear anything if she's asking a question. Try again, MK. How about now? No. Oh. Still nothing. Hmm. Just skip me, Eric. It's fine. We're going to try two more, Devondre. Sorry for the tech troubles. And if it doesn't work, uh, we'll let you go. Thank you. Um, right. Wes, if you have another, go ahead. Yeah, thanks for hanging in there, Dre. Um, with with getting Kenny back last week to this defense, just, just how big of a difference does that make? And and then when he is available, especially against the run, uh, what, what kind of force is that for you guys in terms of defending that? Kenny's one of the best players on our team. So anytime we were able to have him out there, it's just like he's able to do some things that you just can't coach. And that's one of the key qualities in having a great player is – his instincts and some of the things he's able to do, or you can't emulate it. So just having him out there in general is, is different for offenses. You know, they have to prepare for us differently. So it's great having him back. And, you know, we're going to keep on trying to make this push. Chris, did you have another question? Um, I'm good for now. Thanks. Ryan, are you good? Uh, I do have another question. Um, you, you're, as you said, Devondre, Sean Mannion is, is an NFL quarterback. Um, he hasn't played a whole lot. What, what, where do you go to, to find the film, and, and, and what do you see when you, when, when you do see him on film? Um, I haven't had a chance to check him out. You know, like I just found out that uh, Kirk has tested positive. So, I mean, I'll start kind of doing my research now once we get out this, this meeting and kind of ask my coaches to send me some some film on him, but I'm to be 100% honest, I'm not 100% familiar with him. I know who he is, but I'm not too familiar with who he is as a player. But like I said, he's an NFL quarterback and he's going to be starting for a reason. If they had better options, I'm sure they would put him out there. So we just have to prepare and, and get ready to go out and, and play a football game.